Yes. 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 Watch this. <clears throat> Good evening, Interworld. Soldier Snack here from Banana Bomb Productions. Uh, we're back in World of Warcraft on my Warrior Sesquipedal, and these are the patch notes for PvP and Battlegrounds and Arena for patch 5.4, The Siege of Orgrimmar. <clears throat> so firstly, PvP. Base resilience now reduces damage players deal to other players by 72%, up from 65%. That's good. That's extra bit of resilience. Um, just Blizzard balancing that from when they removed it all last, uh, last patch. Battle fatigue now reduces healing for players that are engaged in PvP combat by 55%. Now, I'm not sure, up from 45%. Now, I'm not sure if that's just repeated healing or what, but again, it's a change from Blizzard to try and make uh, people more killable. Season 14 Grievous gear is now available. So for Horde, you're <coughs> over here on the border of Tanlon steps, uh, This where the little Horde icon is. Uh, season 14 Grievous gear is now available from the Honor Quartermaster. Uh, uh, no, the Tyrannical gear, sorry, is now available for Honor points, which is good. And the Conquest people are now selling uh, Grievous gear. So same prices, not much has changed other than that there's a new tier available. Um, elite versions of Season 14 Grievous are now available as a mark of prestige for players that are available, uh, that are able to attain a personal rating of 2,000 or 2,000 and earn 27,000 conquest points in the current Arisen season. Pricing per piece remains the same, but the previous piece requirement has been recruited. So before you used to have to get your uh, conquest points before you could come over here and um, get your other stuff. Uh, now it's just you don't have to have the piece first. So you'd have to buy one of those to roll over to one of those. If you're in line for one of those, you can just grab it straight off. Uh, <clears throat> Season 13 Tyrannical Gear can now be purchased with honor points. Um, Season 12 Malevolent Gear can now be crafted, which is kind of useful. Because um, this malevolent stuff that used to be available for honor, that's now your base amount of crafting stuff. So if you just just leveled your ult, uh, you're in for some decent gear without too much trouble. And equipping any pair of trinkets, uh, PvP trinkets from Season 12 or later, will now grant a 10% reduction in damage taken from uh, other players. So we can see that here. Uh, set increase resilience by 2600 which is your 10% reduction in damage, presumably. So, yeah, Gladiator's Distinction. Nice. Moving on <coughs> to Battlegrounds and Arenas. I'll just position myself back out here. Oh, Willie, get out of my face. It's better. So now onto the arena portion. There is a redesigned arena system. Players no longer need to create or join an arena team to compete. What? Like, <coughs> wow. That is just huge. No longer need to create or join an arena team. So basically, similar to the regular battleground system, players in a party of appropriate size, two, three, or five, uh, cross realm groups are supported, make you for an arena bracket of the same size. Now this is good, because a lot of people end up on different servers, and it's a major change, and what it's gonna do is even out. Whereas in terms of the economy of a server on the auction house, it might not be the best thing to smush two together. In terms of arena, it is. It widens the player pool for everyone at all layers, or all levels. Say you're the only 2200 group on your battle group, then you're not really gonna have much competition. But now if you smushed in with, an, with uh, all the servers, basically, all of them, as it appears to read, then that's a lot more of the 2200 players. So it's gonna increase the skill level required for some people to get up there. But now that loot isn't isn't uh, tied to it as much and a lot of other things aren't tied to that 2200 rating, all it's gonna do is make Arena more competitive, which I think is gonna be a good thing. So I'm a fan of that, that gets a big thumbs up. Each player will have a personal rating that increases or decreases based on victories and defeats against other rated opponents. So you all have your own individual rating instead of a group one. Opponents will be selected based on the average matchmaking ranking of the party. So if you do have a 2200 in there and you're only 1800, you're not gonna be facing everyone who's 2200. So again, if it works, 
it's going to be good. <laughs> Conquest cat requirements on gear and enchantments will be based on the player's personal rating. Uh, again, could be good. You could get screwed over by the system. That'll need some testing to, to know whether that's any good or not. The reed and ladder will no longer be sorted according to battle group. Just like rated battlegrounds and normal battlegrounds, all arenas will now be region-wide. So that's entirety of the EU you're facing off against when you um, go arena, or US if you're US servers, which, yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, at the end of an Arena season, the top players in a region will still earn titles and mounts. For arena matches lasting longer than 15 minutes, one of the teams will receive a buff called the Crowd Chose You that increases damage, critical strike chance, stealth detection, and reduces damage taken. The buff is awarded based on the following criteria. Team with the largest number of players alive. Team that brought an enemy player closest to death, i.e. lowest health on the opposing team. Arena rating scaling in the 2v2 bracket has been tuned to be consistent with the 3v3 bracket. Uh, battlegrounds. Conquest point rewards for winning a random call to arms battleground has been increased. First win of the day now awards 150 conquest points, up from 100, and subsequent wins now awards 75 conquest points. So if you're not arena ring, despite the new arena changes, you can get on with getting uh, your gear down by getting a little bit more conquest points. All non-gladiator gear in battlegrounds, rated battlegrounds and arenas will be scaled down to an item level ceiling of 496. Uh, Grievous gladiator gear is exempt from this item level ceiling, and the item level ceiling will increase at a rate of one item level per point per week until it reaches a maximum of 512. So this is to allow for PvE scaling and how that's going to affect people PvEing, PvPing in PvE gear. That's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, Strand of the Ancients, there's been a few changes. Uh, bombs are no longer an item held in the player's inventory, at last, and will now do considerably more damage, 4, 500 up from 1250. Players carrying a bomb now have a button that allows them to place it with a spell effect over their heads. Placing a bomb takes two seconds and can be interrupted like a battleground capture point. Uh, disarming a bomb takes two seconds and can be interrupted like a battleground capture point. And demolishers will no longer have the ram ability and only one will spawn at each stage. So they're trying to make that battleground a little bit more playable, but for me it'll still be on the ignore list. Uh, so there you have it guys, those are the major changes for PvP and Arena in patch 5.4. Uh, if you haven't already, then please do go and check out my other patch 5.4 overview changes video. Uh, it's linked on screen here and will give you an inkling as to what else is going on out there in the world of Warcraft. So, this is Sergeant Slack from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for joining me for this PvP changes in patch 5.4, The Siege of Orgrimmar. Uh, please do comment, like, subscribe if you did. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you'll be up to this patch, PvE or PvP. It's shaping up to be interesting, and I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!